Hey, it's Pastor Mike. Are you a Bible nerd like I am? <laughs> well, even if you're not, I know you're really going to love our podcast called Bible Threads with Dr. Bruce Becker. Bruce is a friend and a colleague at Time of Grace, and he's a great teacher of the Bible. In his podcast, he uncovers the threads that run through the scriptures from beginning to end, and I'm not exaggerating when he will help you dig deeper than ever before into God's Word. He's going to inspire you to live with greater confidence and joy as he does. So just search for Bible Threads wherever you get your favorite podcasts. We live in a post-truth society. What I mean by that is many people no longer believe that there is such a thing as absolute truth. And that idea is being reinforced by the abundance of fake news. I don't know about you, but I'm getting more and more fake news that's coming through my social media feed. It's no wonder that people struggle to believe that there's such a thing as absolute truth. Maybe that's how you look at Christianity. Maybe there was a time where you used to believe in absolute truth. In fact, you used to think that Christianity was the truth. But over time, you heard that the Bible's been discredited by science or that the Bible is not historically accurate. And so now you put Christianity in that category of fake news. If that's how you feel, I want you to know that Jesus is used to people being skeptical about him and his message. One day when he was preaching in a local synagogue, in the synagogue that, that he grew up in, he opened up to the scroll of Isaiah and he preached a beautiful sermon explaining that he is the fulfillment of the scriptures. And this is how the people responded. It says, All spoke well of him and were amazed at the gracious words that came from his lips. And so the people saw that, that he had this wonderful message. But then it goes on to say that some of the people said, isn't this Joseph's son? In other words, why would we listen to him? We know his father. He is just the son of a carpenter. He can't be the Messiah. And so because of their preconceived biases, they discredited his message. I don't want that to happen to you. Maybe you've had so much fake news come at you that, that you've become maybe hardened or jaded or, or you don't want to listen to anything because you've been skeptical about almost everything. And so here's what I want to encourage you to do. Keep an open mind. Be open to the possibility that maybe Jesus is the truth. Now, for the rest of this week, we're going to talk about trying to find truth in a post-truth world. And we're going to talk about how you might figure out that Christianity is the truth. But before we can talk about anything else, you need to take this first step by just keeping an open mind. And if you do that, if you keep an open mind, Jesus might just change your life, not just for now, but for eternity. Let's pray. Lord God, we want to know if there's anything in this world that can be true, that, that, that's reliable. And so we're open. Lord God, teach us what is truth. Teach us if you're the truth so that we can follow you. In your name we pray. Amen.